The Aspen Pediatric Collars were designed with input from clinicians to meet the unique needs of children. Patented features allow these collars to conform to and cradle the unique anatomy of pediatric patients without excessive pressure on their fragile skin. Integrating innovative features of the Aspen Collar helps ensure that the balance between motion restriction and gentle care is achieved. Due to the accelerated growth children experience, Aspen offers five sizing options, two infant sizes, and three pediatric sizes to ensure that children receive a proper fit, even children as young as one month of age. To properly fit a patient in this product, first determine the appropriate collar size using the pediatric sizing guide. Ensure that the patient is supine and that the head is maintained in neutral alignment. Gently slide the back panel underneath the patient's neck while the head is held in neutral alignment. Ensure the back panel is centered by bringing the hook and loop straps upward and confirming that they are of equal length on each side. After positioning the back panel, gently squeeze the front panel for easy application. Slightly pull the side panels of the collar apart and scoop the front panel up and under the chin so that the chin comes to the front end of the chin piece. Now, position the sides of the front panel over the trapezius muscles. While holding the front panel in place, attach and evenly tighten both sides of the back panel using the tray coal as an anchor point and pulling the loop strap out and up and attaching to the front panel. Finally, check that the collar is properly fit using the three points printed on the loop strap as a guideline. One, are the chin dots hidden? The chin piece plastic should be flush with the end of the chin, hiding the chin dots indicator on the chin pad. If these dots are not hidden beneath the patient's chin, the collar needs to be retightened. Two, is the loop strap past the mark? Remove all slack, evenly tighten and retighten the straps, ensuring the loop extends past the mark for a secure fit and the front and back panels overlap. Three, are the flex tabs bent? If the collar has been properly sized and tightened, the flex tabs will be loaded to spread the support. Please note that the inner trach bar should never touch the airway. The hypoallergenic cotton line pads are designed to be cleaned or replaced on a daily basis or when needed. The collar may be rinsed with mild soap and water. Rinse and fully wipe dry the collar prior to reapplying the clean pads. Hand wash the pads with a mild soap and rinse thoroughly. Gently squeeze the pads. Place the pads on a clean towel and press down to remove any excess water. Allow to completely air dry for several hours. Apply a second set of clean and dry pads to the collar. The front of the collar has two pads. Fold the chin pad and align with the hook and loop dots on the chin piece. The white cotton lining should face the patient. Repeat with the pad for the lower section of the front panel. Check to confirm that each pad is centered and completely covers any exposed plastic. The back panel pad is applied in a similar fashion. Place the back panel on a flat surface. Align the replacement pad as shown and press downward. Loop the hook and loop strap under and then through the slot of the pad and then through the slot of the back panel. Repeat this process with the other strap. Replacement pads are available directly from Aspen Medical Products. For more information about our Aspen Pediatric Collars, please go to aspenmp.com or call Aspen Customer Service at 800-295-2776.